Okay, uh, I'm uh, starting to record in this uh, camera in the new mount. So, because uh, the last mount uh, I dropped the helmet in, uh, it just broke. So, uh, let us uh, see how this is recording. So today I'm uh, heading out uh, for a, a street ride with some of these guys. Uh, so what have I been doing? Uh, I know the last couple of weeks uh, we just went for a gravel road uh, ride uh, last week. And I tried to alternate between uh, street and gravel so that I get practice uh, of everything. Uh, so I can practice both street and gravel riding so what I've done is now uh, yeah so I'm gonna go uh, meet some of these guys in um, in a gas station they're coming from somewhere else actually most of the good roads are uh, in my area here so they have to come through my uh, space here so I said okay let me just pick them up right here instead of going all the way and coming back with them so uh, that's what's been going on. Uh, the Dragoo class was fantastic and uh, it was uh, really needed for to brush up your skills and stuff and uh, I would suggest uh, recommend that kind of an off-road class for anybody who is uh, having an adventure bike irrespective of whether they want to go off-road or not uh, because uh, that really teaches you that you you have really no limits on where you can go. Uh, other than that, yep, my uh, motor's adventure tires are uh, the front is wearing out a little bit. Not not a little bit, a lot. Now I'm pretty much close to where I need to change it. Uh, that's because uh, I've been doing on 95% on the road. So I'm probably going to switch to Motar's GPS and uh, put it in the uh, off-road uh, direction because I think uh, unless I uh, do a BDR, I don't think I'll need the adventure. Although they are one of the best if you want to go off-road. But uh, for my uh, use, which I've seen, I think I can manage with the GPS. So that's what I'm going to do with the front and then probably eventually uh, the back to the front is uh, you know nearly done at about 4,000 miles uh, the back is uh, still looking good I'm thinking maybe another couple of thousand miles at least on it I'll make a separate uh, video for that one then uh, and then I'll uh, also make another video for uh, the riding technique uh, I figured out I kind of distilled it down to three things which is uh, I call it twist turn and drop basically you got to twist your hips then you got to turn and face the direction where you want to go and then drop your head so if you do these things these three things I find that uh, I'm able to ride like a motor GP rider so uh, that that's what it is I'll probably make another video on it uh, this video is uh, primarily to uh, check my camera setup because uh, in a couple of weeks we're going to go to uh, our fall ride which is in um, Talimina, uh, again the Mina area. I get there one day maybe of uh, off-road riding and then I get back and some camping. You know that's what I like to do. If I go on a motorcycle I don't want to stay in a hotel if I don't have to. If it's just a day or two I want to camp. So that's, uh, that's primarily a, what is uh, on the cards. Uh, anyway. So this was just a quick uh, video to test out the camera setup and see how it is. And uh, also I might get some footage of the ride. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later and uh, add some footage uh, of my this current ride. It's kind of looking cloudy. It's about 58 degrees, but it feels a lot uh, cooler. Uh, so uh, I will see you guys later then. Okay, ready to go? 
Hello, sir. Okay, let's go.
so we're taking a small break here. It's much warmer when all geared up. I know. <laughs> I, I need to put my liner back on. Yeah. I got to ask him because his, his lights are like visible from anywhere. Yeah. How much are those? Oh, those are the Denali lights. Oh, it must be expensive. I, uh, uh, $500 and I have a canvas on that. So, you haven't seen my... Uh, Kranti and I are taking it easy. Th Very slow. You know, this is the maximum I can do anyway. <laughs> you know, I can't do faster than this. It's going to be, you know, yeah. and it's and, and it's a risk factor, right? You know, how much you want to... <laughs> those, uh, there are those slick spots on the, uh, the curves. Yeah, it's dangerous. Um, you know, and it's cold. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm good with the tires. And look at my tires. I'm a little about those uh, slick spots. <laughs> yeah, mine are like knobbies. I can't, you know, anything yeah. more than this, I'm going to be in uh, big trouble. Corners are really bad. Yeah. All the corners, those uh, patches kind of thing. Yeah. I start in on, left, on the right side, I end up in the left side by the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll end up destroying your tires probably. <laughs> I don't know at least. Yeah. When I do the turn slower, it's uh, I feel the turn more like you know more in control and like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you have to get your technique correct. Uh, yeah. You know before. before right? <laughs> and you got to be comfortable. Otherwise, this is like a comfortable ride. You don't you don't want to be sweating your. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Watch out. Yes, sir. You should come. To, uh, you're not coming to the uh, the patch. No man, I can't take that much uh, off from the family. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're going to do the, uh, you know, the next day, we like the um, Arkansas ride, we're going to do a little bit of off-road and the K trail and stuff. So just one day of stuff. So I'm going to try the, uh, the off-road and see. Yeah, the tat will be fun. Yeah, that should be cool. Hey, after 697, just stop, okay? Because I'm going to come 121 and go back home that way, okay? I'm not joining all the way. So, what's the next? Uh, How are you going to go? We're going straight like this. Okay. Taking a left, going straight. Yeah, good, good.